Welcome to today's lecture on the histology of the dermis. The dermis is the second layer of the skin, located below the epidermis. It is composed of various intricate components that provide structural support and play crucial roles in various physiological processes. Throughout this lecture, we will explore the different elements of the dermis in detail and understand their significance in maintaining skin health and function. The dermis is predominantly composed of an extracellular matrix, ECM, that provides the framework for the skin. The ECM consists of several components, including collagen fibers, elastic fibers, and proteoglycans. Collagen fibers are the most abundant component and provide strength and resistance to the skin. Different types of collagen, such as type I, 3, and 4, are found in varying proportions in different body regions, contributing to the unique properties of skin in these areas. The composition of collagen fibers in the dermis varies depending on the body region. For instance, in areas prone to stretch and movement, like the dermis of the palms and soles, there is a higher proportion of type I collagen, which imparts greater tensile strength. In contrast, the dermis of the face contains a higher proportion of type 3 collagen, providing more flexibility. The differential distribution of collagen fibers across the body allows for the adaptation of the skin to its functional demands. The dermis possesses an extensive network of blood vessels and lymphatic vessels, contributing to its vital physiological functions. Blood vessels supply oxygen and nutrients to the dermal cells, while lymphatic vessels assist in the removal of waste products and immune surveillance. The intricate vasculature and lymphatics in the dermis ensure proper nourishment, waste removal, and immune response, essential for the overall health of the skin. The dermis is abundantly innervated, with sensory nerve endings dispersed throughout its layers. These nerve endings detect a variety of sensations, including touch, pressure, temperature, and pain. Nerves in the dermis transmit these sensory signals to the central nervous system, contributing to our ability to perceive and react to the external environment. The rich innervation of the dermis allows for precise tactile and pain perception, enabling us to interact with our surroundings effectively. The dermis harbors various types of immune cells, such as mast cells, macrophages, and lymphocytes, forming an important part of the skin's immune defense system. These immune cells actively participate in immune responses, particularly during inflammation. When the dermis encounters pathogens or injury, Immune cells release chemical signals, leading to inflammation and the recruitment of additional immune cells to eliminate the invader or repair the damaged tissue. The dermis thus plays a crucial role in immune surveillance and response. Elastic fibers are another significant component of the dermis. Made up of the protein elastin, these fibers contribute to the skin's elasticity, allowing it to stretch and recoil. The presence of elastic fibers ensures that the skin can withstand mechanical forces without losing its shape. With age and exposure to external factors, the quantity and quality of elastic fibers decrease, leading to a reduction in skin elasticity and the formation of wrinkles. Hair follicles reside within the dermis and play a crucial role in hair growth and maintenance. Each hair follicle is composed of epithelial and dermal components. The dermal papilla, located at the base of the hair follicle, supplies nutrients and signaling molecules necessary for hair growth. The interaction between the dermal papilla and the surrounding dermis ensures the continuous cycles of hair growth, rest, and shedding, maintaining the functionality of hair follicles. As we age, the dermis undergoes several structural and functional changes. The amount of collagen decreases, leading to thinning of the dermis and loss of skin elasticity. The number and activity of fibroblasts, the cells responsible for producing ECM components, decline, impairing the skin's ability to repair and regenerate. Additionally, changes in the vasculature affect nutrient and oxygen supply to the dermis, further compromising skin health. These age-related alterations contribute to the development of wrinkles, sagging skin, and increased vulnerability to injury. Regeneration of the dermis after injury is essential for restoring skin integrity and function. The regenerative capacity of the dermis can be enhanced through tissue engineering approaches. Scientists have developed various strategies to promote dermis regeneration, such as the use of biomaterial scaffolds, growth factors, and cell-based therapies. These innovative techniques aim to accelerate wound healing, reduce scar formation, and restore normal skin structure and function. In wound healing, the dermis plays a key role in scar formation. Skin cells called fibroblasts move to the wound and create scar tissue by producing components of the extracellular matrix. Differences in the scar's composition and arrangement cause visible marks. Abnormal scar formation can happen when the healing process goes awry. Knowledge about the dermis involvement in wound healing and scar formation is essential to develop techniques for minimizing scars and enhancing healing. Several dermatological conditions primarily affect the dermis, leading to various symptoms and manifestations. Examples include connective tissue disorders like scleroderma, 
which cause excessive collagen deposition, resulting in thickened and hardened skin. Other diseases, such as dermatitis and psoriasis, involve inflammation of the dermis, leading to redness, itching, and scaling. Understanding the histological changes occurring in the dermis in these diseases aids in their diagnosis and management. Dermoscopy is a non-invasive imaging technique that allows dermatologists to analyze the features of skin lesions and assess the dermis's characteristics. By magnifying the skin surface and providing subsurface details, dermoscopy aids in the detection and differentiation of various skin conditions, including melanoma, basal cell carcinoma, and other pigmented lesions. Furthermore, techniques such as confocal microscopy and reflectance confocal microscopy enable in vivo analysis of the dermis, providing valuable diagnostic information without the need for invasive procedures. The dermis is an important tissue that impacts skin health. It consists of various components that contribute to processes like wound healing and sensory perception. Understanding its histology is crucial for medical professionals involved in skincare. Ongoing research and advancements offer opportunities for further exploration and improving skin health.